Today, we're gonna to see if an oil drain plug hose makes changing the oil any easier. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Ron Panda here. Hey, last year when I changed the oil in this, I went ahead and installed this oil drain plug hose uh, into the oil drain plug. And that's because you are supposed to change the oil on lawnmowers every 400 hours or every year, whatever comes first. And it's actually a little bit of a pain. As you might be able to see here, the oil drain plug is right above kind of the frame rail of the lawnmower. And what ends up happening is you have to use this little trough, which is always in a place where you don't know where it is. And despite that, the oil tends to kind of drip everywhere and it's really hard to catch and you have to put it in like a pan and then pour it into the container so that you can get it recycled. And I thought, you know, Something that's easier is just gonna make my life easier, but it's also probably gonna make me more inclined to change the oil when I'm supposed to. Sometimes you just don't do it because it's inconvenient. So let's find out if this little oil drain plug hose actually makes it really convenient. Okay, so what you can see here is this little drain plug hose is, I don't know, some sort of rubber, and it's pretty nice. It's about a foot long. It has, looks like brass fittings on the top and the bottom. And basically what it has is just an oil drain plug that's screwed into the back here. Now I can just put this up here and I don't have to worry about it. Now I also have a container here where I've been collecting my old oil. And I think this little Briggs and Stratton motor only has between one and a half and two quarts of oil in it. So this should be plenty of space to capture that oil. Now I'm really hoping that I can just take this off here. I might be able to just do it by my hand. Yep, look at that. I can just pull that cap off like that. And then if I uncap my jug here, because the plug right now is above the level of the oil, I don't have to worry about it draining out. But what I might be able to do here is put this right into my container, just like that, and now lower it. And some of that may start flowing out on its own, but it's not really flowing very fast right now. You might be able to see it, it's just kind of dribbling out. But now that I've done that, I can open up the cap here to the crankcase and let in some air and see if that starts flowing out any quicker. And it is flowing out here. The oil cap has definitely helped. And what I will show you here is that it flows out like this, but the further down I have this, the faster it flows, uh, just more pressure. And it might be a little hard to see, but if I hold it down here, it is flowing out pretty good, pretty quick. What I think you're getting is kind of some siphoning action. The, the oil that's falling down here is pulling all that oil behind it. So we'll just let it continue to run here and then cap it off once it's all out. So I've let this drain here. Actually, I uh, got the pan out because I was going to show it to you, but it drained out quickly enough that there wasn't much by the time I got that pan. You can see it's maybe dribbling just a little bit there. I kind of just put like a couple ounces of oil into the crankcase just to flush out what was remaining here. But it's that simple. And actually, the fact that this video is so simple should be a testament to how easy this makes changing the oil in some of these little small you know motors because they can be kind of a pain in fact some ways uh doing the oil change on a full-on car can be a little easier just because they are set up for maintenance and because of where the drain plug is so i've got uh the plug screwed back in there i just flip it back here where it kind of wedges into its place and doesn't move. And now we're just gonna go ahead and fill up that crankcase again. Do it with the right motor oil weight and the right amounts. And so uh, make sure you follow your guidelines on that. But if you wanna pick up this drain plug hose, I think this thing is invaluable. And the first time you do your oil change, you're gonna to wanna to install these because it's just gonna make maintenance that much easier. I will put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. Alexa, how much oil does a Briggs & Stratton 500cc engine take? A classic French vinaigrette calls for three parts olive oil to one part vinegar. Whisk the ingredients together in a jar, or use a blender, and season to taste with salt and pepper. Not very helpful.